My name is Father Adam Young, and I'm the pilot, sorry, the pastor of St. Paul Parish in Cranston. If you've discerned that this is the right time for you to be returning to Mass, please pay attention during this very important Mass safety video. During the initial stages of returning to Mass, only 100 people will be allowed in the church at a time. It's important to remember that before arriving at Mass, you must RSVP using Sign Up Genius. If you don't have a computer, you are always welcome to call the rectory to RSVP. While all exits are clearly marked, we ask that you only enter the church through one door on the side of the church. This will enable our attendants to check you in and to show you to your seat. While seated, please maintain proper physical distancing, unless, of course, you're members of the same household. Masks are required in the church at all times for adults and for children three years old and older. There are no exceptions. Please adjust your mask properly first. Then you may assist others. When it comes time for the reception of Holy Communion, you will be guided by an attendant up the side aisles. Please wait for them to direct you to your communion station. Father and deacon will be following all Department of Health and diocesan guidelines for the distribution of communion. Decals on the floor will help you to keep proper physical distancing while in line. When it's your turn to receive the sacred host, wait for father or deacon to say, the body of Christ. Then remove your mask to receive. You may return to your pew down the center aisle. Ministers of Holy Communion will have an ablution cup and hand sanitizer in case of physical contact. And remember, if you feel uncomfortable, you may choose to stay in your pew and not receive Holy Communion and make a spiritual communion instead. After the final blessing, we ask that you once again wait to be dismissed so that there's not a rush to the door. Attendants will guide those sitting on St. Joseph's side of the church to exit out the main doors. And those who are seated on St. Mary's side, out the side door. Once again, we ask that you be patient and allow time for dismissal. Some other things to consider if you decide to attend Mass. The bathroom is located at St. Joseph's side of the church, but we ask that you only use it for an emergency. If you can wait, please do so. Unfortunately, we won't be able to pass a basket for the weekly collection, but pillars will be placed at the doors. Please drop your budget offering when you enter or exit the church. Thank you for your continued generosity. The missalettes have been removed from the church, but you may take one from the vestibule to keep and take it home. Unfortunately, congregational singing is discouraged, but that shouldn't be a problem for Catholics. Allow our cantors and musicians to assist your prayer with their amazing talent. Finally, in case of a water emergency, Father and Deacon will be on hand for baptisms. Please keep your eyes peeled on Flocknote and Facebook for how to RSVP using Sign Up Genius. Beginning on Saturday, May 30th, we will resume our regular weekly and daily Mass schedule. Thank you so much for your attention, and most importantly, for your patience. And before we take off, here's one final message from a parishioner if you're still nervous about attending. 
Hey, it's okay to stay home if you don't want to go to church right now. Stay home. Stay safe. Just like I. My friends, unlike an aircraft, we can take you to the skies without even leaving the ground. I look forward to being together again soon. And thank you for choosing St. Paul Parish.